Welcome to JJ Sports Talk, the channel for the sports you love. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the college football playoff national championship game between the LSU Tigers and the Clemson Tigers. Hey guys, and welcome back to JJ Sports Talk. And uh, today I'm um, bringing you a video you probably thought was coming, and uh, I knew I needed to make it, so I figured why not do it now. Uh, I know it's a day late, but it was really late, and uh, if you're not getting the gist of what I'm talking about, I'm going to do a national championship review. I told you it was going to come after the game. But what I'm saying is it was really late last night, and I couldn't really do it after the game because I obviously had school tomorrow. So I figured why not do it tonight. So uh, it may be uploaded. I don't know when it's going to upload. But uh, hopefully it gets uploaded at a pretty decent time so you all can watch it. So, uh, yeah, uh, let's basically get into it. Obviously I'm rocking my uh, Oregon jersey. I've never worn this before. So uh, still an Ohio State fan, but figured I'd whip out some new – stuff for the national championship review but uh, unfortunately no hat today because uh, nothing really matches this uh oregon color so figured i'd go no hat but uh don't don't uh roast me for being in, wearing an oregon jersey i'm ohio state ride till i die so uh all right let's get into it so i'll give you the uh the trivia question sorry so um if this doesn't spoil it which i'm sure you already know who won but uh the trivia question is how many championships does LSU football have now? Uh, and I'll give you that answer at the end of the video. Um, so try your hardest to think about that and comment it if you know the answer uh, or just think about it and see if you can get it by the end of the video. I'll try to keep this uh, as brief as I can because I have a lot of thoughts about this game. So first of all, I want to address the fact that I was right about my predictions, almost exactly right, because I said that it was going to be a close game and that Clemson was going to have a lot of momentum at one point in the game and that it wasn't going to be a blowout, but LSU was going to pull away near the end and win the game. And the game flow almost went exactly how I thought it was going to be. I thought LSU is going, or Clemson is going to get out to a really fast start, and they did. It was a couple punts to start the game, and then Clemson got on the board. LSU quickly tied the game, but um, Clemson was up at 17, 17 to 7 at one point and had a lot of momentum. And then, Clemson, and then uh, LSU went on a huge run to end the half. And was up, I think, 28-17 at halftime. And I knew that, that I knew that Clemson was going to hold momentum forever. And, uh, I mean, the, like I said, the game flow went almost exactly how I thought it was going to go. So, uh, just need to do address that real quick. So, first of all, let's talk about Clemson's point of view. So, Clemson, if you're a Clemson fan, you will be on cloud nine. Super excited when you guys are up 17-7. You have all the momentum. But then... Some things went bad. Some penalties that you guys had to really keep Clemson or some LSU drives alive. And the fact that your defense just couldn't stop the receivers. Your corners were getting roasted all night by Jamar Chase, who had an excellent game. Jordan Jefferson had a great name, great game. And then uh, Thaddeus Moss, Randy Moss's kid, had an excellent game. And uh, Clyde Edwards, he later had a huge, some huge plays. And the fact that Joe Burrow just, you guys just struggled to stop Joe Burrow. But, I mean, who, who really did stop him this year? The Heisman winner had an excellent season. Um, but, you know, your defense kept you in the game for most of it. But I think a big turning point in the game is that targeting call on James Skalski, your linebacker that, re that took him out of the game, was really tough and really prevented you guys from having, that really ended a lot of your momentum. On your, that your defense was keeping you, and, they, and LSU ended up taking control of the game. And I think that, that really hurt your guys' chances when James Galski got ejected. And just the fact that your corners were struggling all game. They were, they were just picking on your corners. And the, the bigger, stronger, faster LSU receivers were just cooking you guys on the edge. But um, defensively, you guys struggled. But, I mean, your offense was just out of whack. I mean, Travis Etienne did all he could to try to keep you guys in the game. Trevor Lawrence looked really good early and not very good late. He just they, Clemson had a few drives near the end where they could score and pull it to about, uh, like at one point they could pull it to a one game score and then two game score, but they just didn't. They just, they just didn't get it to a close game. And Trevor Lawrence just looked out of sync. I mean, Clemson is never really besides the Ohio State game never used to really being down and and down and out of it. Like Ohio State still had points where they got momentum, but. And the Clemson LSU game, they were just down and they were down, down. Like they just couldn't get momentum back. And Cle Trevor Lawrence just constantly was feeling pressure from the LSU defense, who played excellent. 
and just could never really get a rhythm going and overshot. I think he had like almost like I saw a graphic on the screen that said he had like 13 overthrows or something like that. That's not Trevor Lawrence. Like no knock on Trevor Lawrence. So he he still did everything he could to try to help Clemson win that game. And he's still probably going to be the number one pick in the draft next year because, remember, he has to come back again next year because he's only a sophomore and you have to have three years of college. Um, and he's not a red shirt. So he has to come back next year. So we get another year of watching Trevor Lawrence play at Clemson, which is going to be fun. But just, I mean, they just had, they didn't get some breaks and some calls that didn't go their way. Like, I mean, that one pass interference on T. Higgins really hurt them. That They were both fighting downfield. It, it could have went either way, but they called offensive pass interference, which hurt – but I mean, it was just a tough game in general, and Clemson just struggled at points of the game that they didn't, they couldn't struggle on. They needed to get points and needed to get results that just didn't go their way. So LSU did end up winning the game and winning a national championship, which is a perfect story ending to the season. Perfect ending for Joe Burrow. You couldn't write it any other way. Uh, I'm so happy for Joe Burrow. You know, obviously started it at Ohio State. Is an Ohio boy. Went to Athens High School. Uh, in Ohio, so obviously an Ohio boy, and like I said, went to Ohio State, and then things didn't work out there, but uh, he went to LSU and obviously was very successful, and the whole state of Ohio was basically cheering for him to win that championship, including me. I I wanted LSU to win that championship really bad um, because of Joe Burrow being from Ohio and being the quarterback, and because L Clemson beat Ohio State, and I don't like him very much, but I didn't, like I said, I didn't use that bias when picking LSU against him. I just was happy that L it was just a good Wait for the season to end. LSU getting a championship. Ed O'Geron, you know, great coach, had a great, fantastic year um, winning that. And uh, actually, some quick NFL news because um, LSU's uh, passing game coordinator, Joe Brady, Joe Grady, who came in this year, um, who had an excellent year, who won, I can't remember what the award is, but for top assistant coach, is actually going to the Carolina Panthers to be one of their coaches. I don't know if it's offensive coordinator or what it is, but I know he's going to coach for the Panthers, which is huge because he could really he, – he started in the NFL, went to LSU, and then was going back to the NFL, which could be um, barely big for uh, the Panthers. But it does hurt that LSU's losing him and Joe Burrow. So the two Joes that were really successful then this year are leaving. But, uh, I mean, that's really all I got to say. Uh, the game flow went like I thought it was going to be. The final score was 42-25. I mean, it hurts for Clemson fans because they thought for Clemson fans because they thought they had some momentum coming out of half. They scored and got a stop, and that's really when things started stalling out. They didn't score again after that. So, uh, you know, Clemson uh, couldn't win back-to-back -back championships. Uh, they gave all they could, but like I said in my predictions video, LSU has been the best team the whole year, and they showed it again on the high stage. And uh, I just want to say congratulations to LSU and. Uh, like maybe I I don't they they're getting some good recruits and obviously you know it's the SEC so you never know what could happen with them next year but obviously you know Ed Ogeron thinks they're probably gonna win it again so uh, we'll see but congratulations to LSU and uh, that basically wraps up my video of reviewing the national championship um, but now I can get into my trivia question so the trivia question was how many championships does LSU now have after winning the championship and the answer to that is four. They have four national championships now, and those came in 1958, 2003, 2007, and now 2019 and the 2020 season. So that's four now. So uh, if you got that right, good. Um, that's basically all I have for this video. Um, thank you for watching JJ Sports Talk. Goodbye. Congratulations to the LSU Tigers on winning the College Football National Championship.